finally another power pc mac video i haven't done one of these in a while but today we will take a look at this this is my power mac g4 number two this is i think a sawtooth model i'm not really sure uh however i want to sell it it's just this it just doesn't do anything for me anymore it just basically the last time i used this was uh I think when I made the YouTube video about it. So since then it has been stored away in the attic and um, just didn't do anything. So I decided I'll do here one last video, see if it works and install a microwave tiger or something. And then, uh, yeah, we will uh, photograph it. Now, first, before we boot this up, let us just take a look at the insides here because this is quite convenient with power backs. You open this up and here it is everything we got oh it's rather clean in here wow usually it's the other way around that it's inside dirty and outside clean but here it's the other way around um we got the original i think what is the original driver the ibm desk star 40 gigabyte yeah that's probably the original then we got some RAM here. I, I don't know how much that is, but we'll figure it out later. We got a graphics card. This uh, cute little heat sink for the processor. This is not a very fast G4. This is a 450 megahertz G4. So, um, you know, what's the, the one right after the G3? Even kind of looks the same with this front here. Basically the same as the G3, just in uh, gray. And they made a couple of models with this. I just always get confused, but I think this was one of the first. It's got nothing really installed in it. The time battery is not leaking. That is good. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, so um, let's see if it still boots. So yeah, and if it has an operating system on it, because I really don't know what's on here and what we did with this i really don't know so close it back up and uh, press the power button so let's see three two one go okay i heard it chiming and also the drive is spinning up that is also a good sign now will it post J mode, mode not supported, okay. Ah, there we go, and happy Mac. So, hey, cool, that's Mac OS 9. Oh, I didn't expect that. Really, really nice. Cool, cool, cool. It's kind of a shame to wipe this, to be honest with you. Uh, we'll just check out if it has any like important files or something that I need to delete, but I don't think it has. Uh, well, what would be cool is if we could dual boot this, you know, if we could um, maybe keep Mac OS 9 but also uh, install Tiger. Depends on the RAM it has because I don't know what the RAM is. So, boot it right up. All good. Um, all right, 1956. Yep, absolutely right. <laughs> We got 384 megabytes of RAM. Oh, that's not too bad. Not too bad. So that must have been upgraded, I guess. Uh, where is the... How do you call this? I always forget it in Mac OS 9. The system profile. There we go. Um, just check out the hardware a little bit. Oh, it's a 400 megahertz. So it's even a slower one than I thought. Okay. So, like really one of the first. Okay, that's quite cool. All right, we got apparently an English uh, install. I just see that. Maybe we installed that because that would be odd if, like, uh, you know, I bought this from an Austrian guy, so he had that in English. Uh, right, hard drive, yeah. Untitled. Now, display card. We have, yeah, the stock rage with 16 megs. Yeah, that's not a whole lot. But yeah, it still works, so all good, all fine. And then we got a CD-ROM drive. Oh, oh crap, we don't have a DVD-ROM. Uh, I remember there's like a program that was called something along the lines of disk setup. 
or ah, wow, it's all just so long ago. Oh, we got even old Photoshop on here. Huh, Photoshop 4.0. Let's see if it launches. It does. Our BC. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Okay, so that would be also kind of kind of shame to delete it, honestly. Yeah, what is left? So absolutely, that is something we have installed. Trouble down under. Yeah, absolutely. Let's just take a look at this. Yeah, we, look at that. If we save the date. 2019. <laughs> that's that's the last time we used this. I'm pretty sure about oh it doesn't open because of quick time. Is this the the one we want? So we got something not supported, we got your untitled, cannot initialize the startup disk. Uh crap, that's that's a shame. That's a shame. Um <laughs> We'll just upgrade it. Yeah, I will just try to upgrade this OS as if like, you know, uh, I were to be ready to use Mac OS now. And we'll see what we can upgrade it to. Maybe Panther, maybe Tiger, depends on what version I have. So let's just see and then decide. I was just looking through my disk collection here. And here is Power Mac G4 Mac OS 9.2. I'm pretty sure this is the one we installed. Since you will need uh, a, like a specified version of macOS 9 to install it on G4. Didn't work with the stock one I had, so that's something I remember. So we can choose between macOS Tiger CD version, so I do have macOS Tiger, or we could maybe go with Panther. And by the way, I really have to say, that's a cool thing. Uh, let's just close this again. This is one of the few Macs that have actually buttons to open the drive. That is something that's really annoying on mostly any Mac. They don't have any buttons because Steve Jobs, he just hated buttons. And so, yeah, we always had to kind of use software or the keyboard here. And nowadays it's not really relevant anymore since we don't have optical disks anymore. But yeah, uh, with that said, Let's see if we can update this to macOS Panther. Read before you install. Okay, we'll do that. All right, let's read it. Oh, we can't read it because we don't have a PDF reader. So then let's just install, okay? <laughs> okay, and that's it. So we only restart. And now we upgrade our lovely 9.2 to 10.3. Okay, uh, it doesn't seem to be liking this disk. Uh, it just uh, is stuck at this screen and doesn't post anymore. And uh, tries to read the disk, but it just it's not able to. So I've had that happen many times with certain old drives. That's always a bummer when it does that. But uh, I, I, I uh, found out that different kind of disks, they like randomly will work. So apparently this disk is not really great for this use case, for this old drive here. So we're booting back into a Mac OS 9, as you can see this, unfortunately this, these disks, they're not really working here. So that's a bummer. But I'm not giving up yet. I have more because as I said, I have the CD version of Mac OS Tiger and that has done me very good duties in the past. Uh, wow, that's an old disc I made. And I, I uh, had the same problem with many Macs which just didn't have DVD drives and so I have the CD version and thankfully I have it. So I'm pretty sure this one will work. So yeah, I indeed again launched it just fine. So let's see if it works this time with Tiger. As you can see, that looks a little different. So Mac OS 10 Tiger. Click the button below to restart. And same shenanigans now. An error occurred. Startup disk was unable to select the install CD as a startup disk. <laughs> well, <laughs> something doesn't want us to get rid of this Mac OS 9. Uh, yeah, so we'll just manually reboot, okay? Okay. Uh, what, why, why, what is this error? I never had this error. Let's try this manually then. Let's hold down C. 
Yeah, it always comes up with this. Okay, that is interesting. Very interesting. Why though? I don't know. Okay, guys. I have here this super clapped out old miter, which definitely is on its last legs, even as a crack here. But of course, with this one, it works. What the hell? I, I don't I don't get it guys I honestly don't so um, yeah uh, so we can continue our project by the way I also tried the panther disc now and uh, that still didn't work so the panther disc apparently doesn't want to boot with this drive I was right there but the tiger disc does so oh well also this monitor makes this hissing sound <laughs> and it's been doing that since forever but yeah, uh, it's still like it soldiers on. Okay, um, why don't we use English? All right, let's continue our installer. Continue, agree. And I now like can probably choose here, install or erase and install. Uh, but I don't think I can like keep the Mac OS 9 in any way so that it's bootable. You would probably have to split that into two partitions. Yeah. Uh, we'll just continue here and customize and we'll just uncheck this crap that's just taking up space and install it. And that will be it. Really simple. And yeah, um, I, again, I personally have never done such an upgrade, or at least not successfully, so I'm quite curious if this one works and what is left of the, of the classic. Maybe, maybe we can still run it, you know, as a virtual machine, the thing, run the old Photoshop and whatnot, but uh, we'll see. I don't know, guys. Let's just wait for this to complete. It was successfully installed. I for a second thought that it would throw me an error because it just went so fast, but yeah, that went really fast. I mean, 10 minutes tops, that's pretty good. I mean, we still have to go through the part two with the second the disc, but yeah, still, I mean, it's not the fastest G4, it's the Tiger operating system, the highest it can run, so still pretty impressive. It, it looks like a, whatever, a star or something. It, I don't know what happened there. I think it fell. That's where also this happened. Yeah. This has taken a beating. Here is disc number two. And before you say, oh, legal software, um, technically, yes. But I will actually tell you about the laws we have in Austria. In Austria, we can, under any circumstances, create a private copy so if I, I don't I'm not allowed to share this with anybody but I'm allowed to copy it and save it myself so technically it's not illegal and also you know there's a website called WinWorld PC and it can download it just hassle free so and apart from that all the new Mac OS are free anyway so hmm you know uh don't don't get too upset about this, please. Still preparing this stuff. I'm glad that this this old desk star is still kind of happy and healthy. So okay, because you know those discs, those are old. This hard drive is what original. Oh, fuck, hey, this damn tripod. All right, so here is the tray that opened up. We'll swap this. And it's cool to see that everything seems to be working. You know, there's no indication of anything wrong with this machine. Not the drive, not the hard disk, not, not the graphics cards. You know, there are no lines on the screen. There's just, they're just working fine. This is very good, very amazing. So let's just get it installed and see what, uh, you know, we have left from the old stuff. Successfully installed. Very cool. What is it doing now? Is it rebooting or is it already booting into the OS? I think it's rebooting. Okay. 
Okay, it's giving me the CD back. Now comes the glorious Mac OS Tiger intro video, which will give me a lot of retro flashbacks. <laughs> or, or not. <laughs> yeah, the... <laughs> Man, for once I wanted to see it, and now I can't because the graphics card is not powerful enough, so... <sighs> oh well, I just go through this setup stuff. <laughs> uh, no internet for you, mine. You can skip this registration ship. We'll create an account. we we'll call it uh, user1. No password. Yes, and let's see. Man, I really want to see that Tiger video, but yeah. Check the time zone, as if this time battery still works. Okay, so, and now we should see the Tiger uh, desktop. Haven't seen that in a long time, so that's cool. And uh, this this wallpaper is still still, Pretty nice, I think. And here we are, Mac OS 10. So here is our untitled disc. You know what? Let's just rename that to Macintosh HD. Uh, makes it a lot more Mac-like. We'll go about this Mac. We are running here Mac OS 10.4 without any updates. We'll not do any updates because it's just, it just takes so long. Um, yeah, so I'm really curious now. I mean, we have here uh, now finally something which can play MP3s. Okay, that's enough. Our JPEG should work just fine now. Yes, so we made it more functional. We couldn't do that previously. So um, pretty cool artwork there. And now what I'm really interested in is if this Photoshop still works. I don't think it will work. Let's see. Um, Photoshop. Um, the version of QuickTime installed in Mac OS 9 system folder used by Classic is not recommended. Okay. Yeah. Classic needs to update file systems and system folder. Okay, go ahead and update. Man, will this really work? Well, that would be cool. No way, it's starting up classic. Look at that. So this didn't delete Mac OS 9. Yeah, look at that. Here's the, the error. Um, wow, okay, there it is. Yes, it works, guys. No way, it does work. Oh, how cool is that? Um, no, that's a finder. Let's just go into Photoshop here. Here's the old title bar from Mac OS uh, 9. And um, we can open this and yeah, this is, this is, <laughs> this is this wallpaper I created in uh, the old YouTube video about it. Oh, how about that? That, that is some real flashback stuff right now. Oh, wow. So, okay, that is that is something really cool. We still can use those old Mac OS 9 like uh, applications in Mac OS 10. I think like that was super decent for the time and advanced in my eyes. Yeah, that works just fine. So, yeah. Yes. There it is. Obviously, we don't have internet connection here, but it works. We got three, three applications going here. We get the Mac OS X dashboard. I miss those days, man. Those were the days. Let's see if it can do this like water effect because this is a weak GPU. So if we drag this in here it will I think not make this effect no it just doesn't do anything 
Let's go into where, where are the utilities, guys? I need to see. I need to see the RAM usage. I'm interested in how much RAM it consumes. So currently the CPU is well, it's not really used all that much. The memory, um, yeah, the memory is pretty well used up. But we are running free applications, and Photoshop is a pretty heavy one. So, and all that like on a virtual classic environment on, on Mac OS 10. So that's really cool. Very cool indeed. And you can see this, this dashboard crap always like clocks up the memory. That's why back in the days I used to like disable it all together just that it doesn't uh, use up the memory because that's quite a lot of memory for this old Mac just thrown away by these widgets. So it's your best interest to just get rid of them. Um, let's see what, what version of Safari we have in macOS Tiger. <laughs> But for four megabytes free, it is quite responsive. Two, version two, okay, that's really old. Um, let's, let's close some stuff, wow, pixelation. Don't wanna save it, no. Is there any more like cool Mac OS 9 stuff? Because we all know the Mac OS 10 stuff, but the Mac OS 9 stuff is where it's at. Uh, we have, I think we have a game somewhere, King of Parking. Does this also work? <laughs> it works! <laughs> Let's turn down the volume a bit. Or not. There it is. Okay, needed a little time to respond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's do one level. What car is even like our car? We need to, I don't know, I think the red one. Or how does this even go up all the way there? The stretch, oh, the stretch is in the way. That needs to go up there, I guess. So, um, let's just do this. Let's park this guy down here all the way. I mean, it's not the smoothest experience. And now, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Um, you know, these, these cars, they can't turn. So that's why we need to do all of this. Um, you know, guys, actually, I suck at stuff like that. Oh, I know this. This is the way. So I'm gaming on a Mac. All people say it's not possible and look at it. It works just fine. There it is. And we're free. Yeah, we made it. So that is King of Parking for you. <laughs> so we even played a little game on this Mac. Oh, how sweet is that? How can I exit it though? Command Q doesn't do anything. No, for real, guys. Oh, I need it a little. Okay. Yeah, it's an old Mac. We need to give it a little time. So, um, I know it's not running the full resolution, of course. Um, let's just try to crank it up, but it will make it even more laggy. Uh, yeah, but it works. There you go. It's a nice resolution. And here it is. This is the the old Mac running Tiger. And I think this is a pretty good upgrade because not only the next owner will have Mac OS 9 ability, but also Mac OS 10. So I think that's um, very useful indeed. So that, that is it for the Sawtooth. I know the Mac guys want to know the, the CPU's uh, code. So I used to know these, but kind of forgot about them. This is a 7400 power PC. Okay, so this is like uh, the older gen. Here it is in all its glory. Um, I will now photograph it, I will clean it a little bit and then put it up for sale and hopefully it will go to a good new home. So I hope you like this quick little install video. I quite enjoyed it. It was a little bit of a retro experience for me as well. 
So thanks for watching guys and I will see you later.